What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the world according to Briggs and a look at the Hispanic and Latino population of the United States. Like I said in our Asian state video, normally I don't do anything related to race on this channel because I'm at a disadvantage. I was raised right and the only time I notice racial differences is when it comes to food, music, and maybe how family gatherings go down. In my opinion, I think race is the most interesting subject about a person. The thing is, not everyone's like that. Too many people see racial and cultural differences as a negative in this country. We've all seen the videos of people telling someone to go back to their country. In the United States, this garbage is normally directed at Hispanic and Latino people. And most of the time, those people are in their country, the United States. The Hispanic population in 2010 was about 50.5 million residents, which was about 16.3% of the US population at the time. And now it's 62.1 million, which is about 18.7% of the population in 2020, according to the US Census. So if you think just because someone is Hispanic or Latino, they're not American, there's a good chance you're wrong. I get requests all the time for videos like this. It's not always from someone that wants some negative information about a culture or a race or anything like that. A lot of times it's from someone of that race or culture just looking for a nice place to live where they can find more people that share their culture and life experience. And that's who this video is kind of for. Today we're looking at the states with the most Hispanic or Latino population. And we'll be ranking it by the percentage of that state's population that happens to be Hispanic or Latino. For reference, Delaware, Georgia, in Virginia could be considered the average with about 10.4% of their population being Hispanic according to the US Census. Got it? Get it? Good. Let's take a look. Number 10, Illinois. Illinois has a good size Hispanic and Latino population. Now, real quick, before I go on, if I keep saying Hispanic and Latino through the whole thing, it's gonna drag this video out. So I'm gonna give you the definition and then we're just gonna go with Hispanic. Hispanic and Latino are sometimes used interchangeably. They have different meanings. Hispanic refers to individuals who are Spanish speaking or have a background in a Spanish speaking country. Latino refers to those who are from or have a background in Latin American country. So we're gonna stick with Hispanic right now and if you have a problem with that I suggest you turn off the video and move on to something else but back to Illinois Illinois has a Hispanic population that sits at 2.3 million residents that's about 18.2 percent of their population the Hispanic population has grown about 15.3 percent since 2010's census that's a good amount of growth but nothing compared to some of the other ones on this list if you're looking for the most Hispanic town in in Illinois, you're probably going to look at Cicero. Cicero is a suburb of Chicago and an unincorporated town in Cook County, Illinois. They have a population of about 85,000, which makes it the 11th largest municipality in Illinois. 88.8% .8 of their population is Hispanic. Number nine, New York State. New York City has a bunch of different boroughs that have large Hispanic communities. Not a lot of people outside of New York realize that there are some towns with good sized Hispanic populations. Overall, New York State's population of Hispanics is a little under 4 million. It's actually 3.9 million as of the 2020 census. That means 19.5% of their population is Hispanic. And that demographic has grown 16% since the 2010 census. Now, I'm sure most people are going to assume that one of the boroughs like Queens or Brooklyn has the highest percentage of Hispanics. They do have a good sized population, Queens having 36% of their population being Hispanic and Brooklyn being 30%. Nowhere near what's going on in a village up the Hudson River called Haverstraw. Haverstraw's population is 71.2% Hispanic. They have a population a little over 12,000 residents and a little under 9,000 are Hispanic. Number eight, New Jersey. If you've ever visited Northeast New Jersey, this should be no surprise to you. Right up there by New York, they've got a lot of different Hispanic communities. There are over 2 million Hispanics living in New Jersey. That's a little over 21% of their whole population, 21.6% to be exact. And their Hispanic population has grown by 28.8% since the 2010 census. If you're looking for the community with the highest percentage of Hispanics, you're gonna be looking right across from Staten Island Island, New York at Perth Amboy. 78% of Perth Amboy's population is Hispanic. That's three quarters of their population. Over three quarters. That's one of the highest rates outside of Mexico City. 
Number seven, Colorado. If you didn't know Colorado had a large Hispanic community, you haven't been paying attention or you've never visited Colorado. 21.9% of Colorado's population would be Hispanic, meaning they have about 1.2 million Hispanic residents. And it's been growing since the 2010 census. The Hispanic population has grown by 21.6%. Now, if you are Hispanic and looking to be around your own, your best bet is called Federal Heights, which is a city in the Denver metro area. It's a little north of downtown Denver. 64.87% of their population in Federal Heights would be Hispanic or Latino. Number six, Florida. Now, this one gives you a higher percentage the further south you go in this state. Miami is thick with Cubans. I brought that up in a video I did about Florida probably four months ago, and there was quite a discussion whether Cubans were Caribbeans or were they Hispanic. That could be its own video, which I'm not going to get into right now. 26.5% of Florida's population is considered Hispanic, which means it's a total of about 5.7 million just under. If you're looking for the most Hispanic town in Florida, it's Hialeah. It's in the Miami metro area and it is 95% Hispanic. Number five, Nevada. I'll tell you right now, we are done with the East and the middle part of the United States. It is all Western states from here on out, as you can imagine. It only makes sense. It's close to the Mexico border and Central America and all that stuff. But Nevada doesn't have the biggest population overall. In 2020, they had just a little over 3 million residents, most of them living in the Reno and Vegas metro areas. And their Hispanic population is about 845,000, giving them a Hispanic population that makes up about 28% of their total population. And that Hispanic population has grown by 24.3% since 2010. Their most Hispanic community doesn't have as high a percentage as some of the other ones on this list. It's actually North Las Vegas and it's 41% Hispanic. Number four, Arizona. Arizona is another one that's a no-brainer for showing up on this list. If you didn't think it was going to be here, congratulations from waking up from that coma of yours. Maybe you've been living in a doomsday shelter since the 1940s. I don't know. Arizona has a very strong and historic Hispanic community. There are 2.1 million Hispanics living in Arizona, and 30.7% of Arizona's population is Hispanic. And that community has grown by 15.7% since the 2010 census. If you've never visited Arizona, I will tell you right now that when you get there, you could see the Hispanic culture. It smacks you in the face as soon as you get there. I mean, from the food, to the music, to the architecture, it's all right there. Now, if you're looking for the most Hispanic community in Arizona, you're gonna have to go south of Yuma, not too far from the Mexican border. You will find the town of Summerton, Arizona. It has a population of about 14,000 overall, with 97% of them being Hispanic. Number three, Texas. Texas, in my opinion, is one of the best states for Hispanic culture in the United States. I have to say in the United States or someone would throw in like Mexicali or something like that down in Mexico. They have states also, 32 of them to be exact. In Texas, you will find some of the best Mexican food and Tex-Mex food. Some of the best tacos I've ever had were in Laredo, Texas. This is throughout much of the state. This isn't just down on the border. Texas has a Hispanic population of a little over 11 million, 11 .4. That's about 39.3% of Texas population is Hispanic. And that population has grown 20.9% since the 2010 census. If you're looking for the most Hispanic town in Texas, you're going to have to float down the Rio Grande from Laredo, about halfway between there and the Gulf of Mexico. You will find the town of Roma. And to say Roma is a Hispanic town is an understatement in a big way. Roma has a population of about 12,000 residents and and of those 12,000 residents, 99.9% .9 of them are Hispanic. I promise you, you can get some seriously good tacos there. Whenever I go to Texas or Arizona for that matter, or any other Western state, that is one thing I look for, the best tacos, where are they? And I can tell you from my experience, the more Hispanic people they have living in that town, the better tacos you're gonna get. I grew up in the Los Angeles metro area and I can tell you the closer you got to San Diego and the Mexican border, the better the Mexican food got. All right, now it's time to place your bets. Who's number one and who's number two? Let's find out. Number two. California. The Golden State is another one that shouldn't have caught anyone off guard. I mean, it's California. It's kind of known for this. I mean, not too far back, California and all the top five on this list were part of Mexico. 
And it's not like buying a condo, the old tenants don't leave before you take over. They just become part of your household, which I'm kind of happy for, because if not, I probably wouldn't have a wife, or at least the one I got now. Yes, my wife is Hispanic. The Hispanic population of California is over 15 million. It's 15.5 million to be exact as of 2020. That means 39.4% of California's population is Hispanic. Since 2010, that community has grown by 11.2%. The most Hispanic city or town in California is one I've never heard of. I was born and raised in California. I study maps. I've never heard of Parlier. I looked it up on the map. It is a farming community for the most part that is southeast of Fresno. I looked up their stats because like I said, I knew nothing about this place and I was kind of shocked. They don't have the best livability score. It's 49, which is normally horrible, but their crime rate isn't terrible. It's 41% lower than the national average. Their cost of living is not terrible either. I mean, this is California and it's one percent lower than the national average and their housing is 30 percent lower than the national average and it doesn't look like a bad place to live now the only bad part about this place i know i'm getting off track of what this video is all about their income per capita is 65 percent lower and in their unemployment is always pretty bad but it looks nice i mean it doesn't look bad at all especially for this part of california sorry yeah this doesn't have much to do with what's going on on this video it's just the it kind of threw me off a little bit i had to do a little extra research but part Parler's population is a little over 15,000, and of that, their Hispanic population makes up 97.6% of the town. All right, before we get to number one, don't forget we have another channel called On This Day. There's a link down below. We would love it if you went over there and watched some videos, give some thumbs up. Matter of fact, do me a favor and give this video a big thumbs up too. All right, on to number one. And number one. New Mexico. That's right, the land of enchantment has a large Hispanic population. This again, should not be a surprise to anyone. I mean, even if you don't know anything about the state, it says Mexico in the name. It's not like you're gonna show up there, it says New Mexico and you find out that the entire state is like 97% Scottish. But New Mexico, almost half the population of the entire state is Hispanic. New Mexico has a population of 2.1 million residents and just a touch over 1 million million are Hispanic. The actual percentage is 48.7% of New Mexico's population being Hispanic. Since the 2010 census, the Hispanic population of New Mexico has grown by 6%. Their most Hispanic community is a place called Sunland Park. If you're looking for it, find El Paso, Texas, and it's right there. El Paso meets New Mexico and Mexico all at the same spot. The southeast corner of the town is actually where the Rio Grande finally meets Mexico. 93% of Sunland Park is Hispanic. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a productive day, and be nice to each other.